the morning or whatever time it is when you see this. Um, I have been trying to get back into reading again and I'm reading a choreographer's handbook. Um, and I got to the section called improvisation and realized that it applies to my life outside of dance. So I, uh, judge myself and push myself a lot around like discipline and scheduling and productivity. And so I'm going to read this section. Um, and I am thinking about it in terms of like productivity and how I spend my day to day routine versus improvisation, uh, in choreography. Improvisation. Improvisation is one way to work. For some, in some instances, it brings freedom. The freedom to follow impulse and the intelligence of the moment. The freedom to arrive at the right parameters for the structure of that moment without binding it with formality. The freedom to work at the speed of a thinking body and mind. Improvisation. This freedom is also there, sometimes in set forms. The freedom not to be responsible for making a choice. The freedom to deviate because I have something to deviate from. Improvisation. Improvisation can be a principle for performing. This is an approach to making performance that demands as much focus, clarity of intention, process, integrity, and time as any other process. If choreography is about making decisions or about objects placed in relation to each other so that the whole exceeds the sum of the parts or about a continuity of connection between materials, then improvised performance is as much of a choreographic act as any other approach. The decisions are just made faster. For some people, this is the right and only way for them to work. For some pieces, this is the right and only way for them to work. The question is this, what is the right way to work for the thing you want to do? What can you do at this moment in this process? What will be gained and what will be lost in the way you choose to work? There will be loss. All of these questions can be asked even if you don't know what you're trying to do. So long that is that you know you don't know what you're trying to do. It's okay not to know what you're trying to do. I just think that's a really cool framing um, to think about not just choreography, but work. Like when I'm choreographing burlesque numbers, choreographing. It is an improvisation. When I'm teaching central movement, it really is an improvisation. And that's intentional. Uh, and just like as serious of a means of creation as would be going uh, phrase by phrase, bit by bit and uh, committing it to a certain type of rigidity. And so I just think about how much I beat myself up on my work outside of the stage and like my day-to-day -day operations. Um, and I don't think that I'm completely productive uh, in an improvisational state, but I think that it offers me an opportunity to work with intention. So I can choose to have a regimented day that has a structure and like blocks out my time towards purpose driven work. And I can choose to move and follow impulse and the intelligence of the moment and the freedom to arrive at the right parameters for the structure of that moment without binding it with formality, right? With a, what he calls the freedom to work at the speed of a thinking body and mind. But if I'm going to choose improvisation, it has to be a choice. The discipline is in moving with intention, either intending to have a block day and making the freedom to deviate because I have something to deviate from or making the choice to move, but to move with the moment versus not moving not flowing, not choosing. I hope that makes sense. And it's not just a like full ramble 
Uh, let me know if that resonates with you. But I was inspired and I hope that sharing inspires you to reframe your thinking about how you work. Yeah.